Hello, and welcome to LSET Tech Byte. Today, we have an exciting tutorial for you where we'll be learning how to create a simple text editor using HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. Whether you're a beginner or an experienced developer, this tutorial will help you understand the fundamentals of building interactive web applications. Let's dive straight into the code. Here we have our HTML structure. We start with the doc type HTML declaration, which specifies the document type and version of HTML we're using. In the head section, we have meta tags for defining the viewport and the initial scale for mobile devices. This ensures our text editor looks good and is responsive across different screen sizes. Moving on to the body section, we have a container div to hold our text editor. Inside this container, we have two main elements options and text input. The options div contains various buttons and select drop-downs for formatting and styling our text. We have buttons for bold, italic, underline, strike through, superscript, subscript, ordered list, unordered list, undo, redo, creating and removing links, text alignment, indentation and font color customization. Next, we have the text input div with the attribute content editable true. This allows users to directly input and edit text within this div. It's essentially the area where users can type and manipulate text, just like in any text editor. We've also linked to the font awesome library for some stylish icons and our own CSS file for custom styling. We link our CSS style sheet using the link tag. This file, named style.css, contains the styling rules to make our text editor visually appealing. Now, let's take a look at the JavaScript file linked at the bottom of our HTML document. This file contains all the necessary scripts to make our text editor functional. Alright, let's dive into the CSS part to design our text editor. In this video, we'll be using cascading style sheets, or CSS to give our app a polished and visually appealing look. We start by setting some global styles. We use the universal selector to reset margins, padding, and set the box sizing property to border box. This ensures consistent spacing and sizing throughout our project. Next, we define styles for the body element. We set the font family to Arial Helvetica Sans Serif font and the background color to a light grayish blue shade to create a pleasant reading environment. Moving on to the container class, we style the main wrapper for our text editor. We set its maximum width to 80% of the viewport widths, center it horizontally on the page with some top margin, and give it a subtle padding and border radius for a clean look. Additionally, we apply a box shadow to create a slight elevation effect. Inside the container, we have the Options class. Here, we use Flexbox to arrange the formatting buttons in a row with a small gap between them. We also give these buttons some basic styling like removing the border, adding padding and setting a border radius for a rounded appearance. Now let's take a look at the text input. This is the area where users can input and edit text. We style it with a border, padding and border radius to make it look like a traditional text input area. We also set the font size and line height for optimal readability. Lastly, we have the input wrapper class. This is used for styling the color picker inputs and select dropdown. We align the label and input elements horizontally and give them some margin for spacing. The 
The color picker input is styled to have a circular shape and the select drop-downs have a custom arrow using the pseudo element. All right, now let's move on to the JavaScript part where we'll add functionality to our text editor. This is where the magic happens. In our JavaScript file, we start by selecting various elements from our HTML document using jQuery. These elements include the formatting buttons, select dropdowns, the text input area, and more. Next, we have an array called font list, which contains a list of font options that users can choose from. These fonts will be populated in the font select dropdown. Moving on to the initializer function, this is where we initialize our text editor by setting up various options and functionalities. We highlight certain buttons to indicate their default state, populate the font select dropdown with options, and set the default font size. Now let's take a look at the modified text function. This function is responsible for modifying the text within the text input area based on the user's interaction with the formatting buttons and advanced option. It uses the document.exec command method to execute commands such as bold, italicize, underline, and more. Moving on to the event listeners, we have functions that handle user interactions such as clicking on formatting buttons, changing select drop-down values, and creating hyperlinks. These event listeners trigger the modify text function with appropriate parameters to apply formatting or modify the text accordingly. Lastly, we have the highlighter and highlighter remover functions. These functions handle the highlighting of active buttons by adding or removing the active class. This gives users visual feedback on the currently selected formatting options. And there you have it. That's the JavaScript code for our text editor. With these functionalities in place, users can now format and style their text with ease. Stay tuned for more tutorials where we'll explore further enhancements and advanced features. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more exciting content.